Hi, um, my name is Sarah, and I thought I'd do a vlog just because I've been going through some stuff that um, I don't really know what it is, so I thought it'd be interesting to put this out there um, for anyone who's going through something similar or know someone who's going through something like this and, you know, can relate or, or you know, just know more about it. So, um, my story's kind of interesting. Uh, I was at the doctor and she noticed this lump in my neck. <laughs> like, I didn't even notice it. And she kind of was like, mm, that's weird. You should probably get that checked out. So I'll just show you. So right here. This, like, ball. Um, so she was like, we'll, we'll put you through an ultrasound and just, like, look at it more. Um, and find out kind of what that is. So I did the ultrasound and I like read the sheet and she thought maybe it's lipoma. Um, lipoma? Um, I don't really know what that is. I think it's kind of like a cyst that can grow. Um, maybe your lymph nodes or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then she got the results back and was like, oh, well. Actually, it's near your lymph nodes, so it could possibly be lymphoma. And I was like, that's cancer. <laughs> like, that's pretty intense. So, um, after hearing that, I, like, spiraled out and went online, <laughs> which you shouldn't do. And um, I watched pretty much everyone's YouTube story of, like, life, lipoma, um, lymphoma, sorry, and... You know, if you've put one out there, I've seen it. Um, but what was interesting um, was that all of them had some sort of symptom. Um, they had it, like, they had, like, an enlarged lymph node probably around, he like, their collarbone area or somewhere around here. And then they had, um, like, night sweats or weight loss or a rash or an itch and... I haven't really had any symptom, so I was kind of like, hmm, you know, like maybe mine's just really early, because some of these people have had their lumps for years, and I don't know how long I've had mine, because, like, I've only noticed it after my doctor noticed it, and then I went back and looked at pictures, and it was probably only, like, two months that I've had this, like, noticeable lump. So... Um, yeah, so I did a CT scan to get even deeper and, like, more specific. I did my blood work, that came back fine, um, and then I did, and then I got my CT results, and they noticed, they're like, okay, well, you also have a lump in your chest. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm just a lumpy person, but, <laughs> or maybe it's cancer, um, and that it's spread, or, you know, like, your mind goes everywhere, or maybe it's benign, and I don't know. So, um, what happened next was I went to see a thoracic doctor, um, and he saw my CT scan, and he's like, you know, like, I don't think it's lymphoma, um, because, like, I don't know, he just said he didn't think it was, so I was like, okay. But because of my age, because I'm 22, I'm going to be 23 in April, that uh, he, they, they had to factor it in. So he thought, maybe it's a germ cell tumor, or maybe it's thymoma. And I researched those, and I thought, okay, well, those are either benign or cancerous too. So, like, what is it? So he did um, a fine needle biopsy, so that's... That little scar right there um, and I'm waiting I'm still waiting for the results but instead of getting those I was also scheduled for a pelvic ultrasound because I think they want to make sure there's no more lumps anywhere else um, and then he also scheduled me for a lung biopsy and I was kind of like okay there's all these tests and w like I'm getting no answers you know and um, so my my thought process went to, okay, he knows, he has the results of, like, my fine needle biopsy, and maybe, maybe it came back benign, and they're just testing to see if the one in my chest 
is benign too or it, he got the results and it was like inconclusive and he has to go deeper um, to see so I don't know but uh, all I know is that this Friday at 7.30 in the morning, I have my lung biopsy. And hopefully from there, I have no more tests and more answers. So I just thought I'd do a quick video for anyone who's experiencing something like this or wants to know more about stuff. So, um, it, so I have a lump in my neck. It's hard. It's painless. Um, I also have one in my chest. I don't really have any symptoms. I'm chronically tired, but <laughs> that could be other uh, unrelated reasons. Um, so no, no symptoms really. So I'm not sure that my options are either germ cell tumor, light uh, thymoma, or lymphoma. So I will let you guys know um, what it is once I find out. But for now, thanks for listening, and uh, see you later.